It is possible for a person to believe that they can see even though they are partially or completely blind. Allow me to explain. A 96-year-old man arrived at an emergency room complaining about an intense headache. As part of his physical examination, he was found to have severe vision loss. In fact, he was mostly blind. Despite this, he claimed that he could see. In order to try and prove it, he began making up visual details about the world around him. For example, he described the color of a necktie that one of the medical staff appeared to be wearing. But unfortunately for the patient, the doctor was not wearing a tie. He also told the medical staff all about the landscape that he claimed he could see when he looked out of the hospital window. But he was actually in a room that did not have any windows. His denial of his own blindness was a clear case of Anton Babinski syndrome. Anton Babinski syndrome, sometimes just called Anton syndrome, is a disorder that occurs when blindness or partial blindness is combined with anosognosia, or the absence of knowledge about one's own disorder. People with this disorder claim that they can see despite clear evidence that they cannot. They may walk into walls, trip over furniture, or describe visions of objects that are not there. If they are called out on their blindness, they may make excuses, such as the room being too dark, or they may even try, and fail, to prove that they can see. People with Anton Babinski syndrome replace real vision with fake vision. They do this by using visual imagery from their imagination, but the person is not aware that these are mental images and not true vision. This process of mistakenly believing that the mental images are vision is a type of confabulation, which is when a person lies without meaning to do so. Even if you try to convince someone with Anton Babinski syndrome that they cannot see, you probably will not succeed, because the brain damage associated with anosognosia makes conscious awareness of their blindness more difficult. Plus, they feel as if they are experiencing sight. Anton Babinski syndrome is still quite mysterious. It usually happens in conjunction with cortical blindness, which is the type of blindness that results from brain damage to your visual cortex. One theory about Anton Babinski syndrome is that there are some preserved islands of brain cells in the visual cortex that were not destroyed, and so they are able to generate mental images that feel like real seeing. There is overlap in the brain between your mental imagery and your true visual perception, but usually, a person is able to tell the difference between something that they imagine and something that they are truly seeing. However, if true seeing is disrupted by brain damage, but visual imagination is able to continue, then it becomes more difficult to tell the difference between the two, making Anton Babinski syndrome possible. This has been called the release phenomenon, in which mental images are misinterpreted as real vision. Overall, Anton Babinski syndrome is rare, and its symptoms make it one of the most striking ways that your brain can break. <laughs>